Hello, welcome to another Lady Army bootleg Lego review. Uh, this is Red Men, um, even though in Chinese it says uh, Red Battle Police. Uh, well, you know, it's pretty much just Red Army. And uh, this is uh, Lady did release uh, Army stuff before, but in this pack it's full red. Not the best camouflage uh, ever, unless you're on Mars, unless your dead bodies on Mars because there's no oxygen. And but you know, red color is the lucky color for China, so that's probably why they did this color because you know it's lucky. Uh, hence, you know, Chinese flag is red. Red means good fortune, etc. In China, and uh, white means death. By the way, a uh, death. By the way, in China, so you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah. it's called uh, this one's a you dark kick. Okay, the. Danik, um, Pioneer, Sniper, even though it's not holding a sniper gun in the photo, uh, Team Leader, he's got sunglasses, so yeah, Machine Gunner, uh, so one side of the boxes are all the same, <laughs> Total Boxes has the logo and image of the figure, Other side of the box, also all of them have the same image. Completely new to come into the market. Sure, completely new. And the back of the box tells you what you get in each box. Uh, some of these are incorrect since uh, some of them do not include that little red radio, but all the rest of the information seems to be correct. They come with the correct guns, uh, correct helmet, and correct. Uh, body armor pack. It's just that I think two of them are missing uh, the little um, headphone pack or they don't come with them at all. Now uh, all of them seem to come with one extra red hand just like I was showing you on comes with extra hands for all of them. As always Lily comes with cards. Uh, there's one card in that always corresponds with the figure of the box. You see this goes to the old uh, Ninjago style, and on the back you got uh, this well, a pretty nice logo, I guess. Uh, card quality is standard Lily, still the same as previous ones. If you don't know the previous ones, then uh, the card is kind of thickish and not too soft. The uh, cuts, the edges on the cut, you can still see the little punch dots on the cards. Uh, sometimes the card feel a bit dusty, it's a bit sandy. Print resolution overall is so so. Sometimes it's it's hit and miss really. So one cap. Team leader, uh, two snipers, two you dark nicks, uh, two machine gunners, two you done nick. What is that word? And uh, three pioneers. So there's one captain card uh, missing. Pretty much. Well, the rest of them are, yeah, like I just, just told you the numbers. So. Uh, and now all of them inside will have one of these gun packs. So all of them have this, uh, grenade, radio, smoke grenade, uh, laser attachment to the gun, two different kinds of pistols and two different kinds of knives. Uh, they pop up really easily, nothing snapped and bro uh, or broke, so that's good. So uh, let's move on to the figures. Um, as you know, more accessories first. Uh, out of all of them, uh, only one of them has this uh, little uh, eye scope pack. So only one of them comes with these. Uh, as for which figure comes with, you can check out the photos when I upload them onto Flickr. Uh, a few of them have um, one of these, one of these guns. They're just loose. They're not attached to any brackets. Or this gun. I think it's M6, M16. I think with a grenade launcher attached to it. So and. Uh, and uh, the other ones, um, some of them come with this gun. Some of them come with this gun. There's two of these in all of them. I think there's two of these two as well. Two of these. And uh, there's two snipers in all the packs as well. Again, you can just correspond the back of the box. So let's look at the actual figures. Now let's go with Cat Team Leader since he's the leader. All of them have a little red base, which is neat, uh, because LEGO only has the green base for now. 
Uh, I think let me see, did Lego have another old colour? I think they had a black one as well. They used for something else. But uh, yeah, definitely no red ones. And now the bootlegs have red ones. Uh, if I just pop his head off, you can see underneath. All of the torsos are printed slightly differently underneath. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, Milvo, they are pretty similar to other like tan colored army packs, just that it's a red plastic. Uh, all the joints are pretty tight, nothing too, nothing loose on all of these figures, so that's good. So every single figure has a good build. Everything doesn't feel too solid. It's pretty solid. Uh, the black outlines are okay. Uh, apart from the side of the leg, you can see this printing on the side of the legs. But it's uh, very hard to tell because the, the print's too thin, too light, so. And the camouflage you can't really get wrong because it's all random strokes anyway, so. Uh, yeah. So that was team leader. Let's go with machine gunner. Okay, machine gunner's head uh, is totally printed uh, wrong, so that kind of sucks. Let's see. Uh, just checking for the boxes. So I'll just take his arm off. He does have a red radio. I mean, really, the whole gimmick of this line is the plastic is in red. That's it, really. So everything's in red. So he can stand there. Uh, oh, you can take a look at his back. So he's got like sand camouflage on the red body back there. And again, all the legs uh, seem to be the same on the side. Like a little, this little pocket on the side, and yep, he does have a red radio. This feels like a solid enough piece. So armor on the back, uh, can't attach anything to this one. Then okay, so next we have. Let's see the sniper. Okay, the sniper's the one with that uh, black helmet attachment. Does have radio there. Does have uh, pouches that you can plug one thing on the back. So far, I probably noticed that the, all the faces are actually okay. They're not badly printed. I think the skin color is slightly off plastic, but uh, the overall prints on all of these are actually pretty decent. Uh, you can tell the black outlines, like the little images, are kind of simple and kind of bootleggy. But uh, but the camouflage itself is totally fine, so that pretty much hides the bootlegginess of uh, these figures. Um, and it's a good thing that the head prints don't look bootleggy, because there's nothing hiding it. We have the radio. And then we have Udarnik thing. U-D-A-R-N-I-K. Uh, He's the one with the green helmet. Again, now his side print is actually pretty easy to see because green is the opposite color of red. He has the uh, the uh, bomb squad type heavy armor. Just look at this back. Just random green blodges. So so yeah, the uh, heavy duty armor. Again, you can plug things on the Mac if you choose to do so. And then we have another same kind of name. Must be a Russian word for soldier or something. Almost looks like he's a parachute guy. Armor off. Underneath he has Rambo bullets. But not on the back. So printing mistake. Who would have fought on the bootleg? And yeah, just standard armor pack again. Slightly different print. And finally, we have uh, mach no, that's machine gunner. It's supposed to have grey camouflage, but on here it looks purple. Again, uh, I dig that they print the arms and the side of the legs as well. That's really neat of them to do. And he has a radio on him as well. It's cool. His uh, his armor is the uh, non nothing on the back to attach, just front pockets.
So, honestly, red figures, uh, I don't know who to recommend this for. The parts are actually decent here. Nothing's too crappy. Uh, this is uh, Lily on a good day, I would say. Apart from one print mistake on the head, the rest of the army pa uh, body packs are totally fine. Uh, again, you get a lot of guns here. Uh, all of the guns you would have seen before. There's no new bootleg guns here from previous army packs. So you're not getting anything new here. But the quality of them are decent and they snap off the brackets very easily so you don't have to worry about breaking them you know when removing them from the, from the uh, plastic bracelets uh, brackets so that's good uh, but however I can't find a way that you might want to use these because like I said red camouflage is just weird like it just doesn't happen right why have they done that uh, apart from you know, the, color, the lucky color so I can't imagine what kind of situation you would use these in uh, aside from being a collectible and something just to be an interesting piece on display, I can't think of anything practical to do with them. So maybe if you can think of one and put it underneath, like like I said, even if this is a sci-fi thing and they're on Mars, or, you know they need they need breathing mass but they don't. So uh, so maybe they're on a different planet but the atmosphere is red and a red is there a red jungle somewhere? Uh, or maybe you can say, hey, this, these, these guys are wearing these in the Predator vision, but then, you know, the Predator vision is based on heat and the, the camouflage colouring doesn't really follow the heat signatures. So, I just can't think of what realistic situation would the packs look like this. So, if you know, then think of one, put it in the comments below and share it with everyone so we know what to do with these guys. I don't know that, I mean, these, these are pretty cool looking soldier guys, but, um, and the accessory count is so high, so good, uh, it's so many guns with each character, uh, I, but there, I don't know what to do with them. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care, and have a nice day, bye.